Beer? Beer? Um, Asian beer? Asian beer? Um, prestige? Can I drink on the street or no? You can't drink on the street. You can drink on the street? Okay, I'm gonna get some prestige. I just need one. You have one single? You can? Man, I love it. That's my kind of place. Thank you. There we go. Thank you, my friend. You can open it for me? Yes. Hello. Oh, no problem. I love it. How you doing, buddy? Good. Okay, guys. I guess he put it in a brown bag for me, and I guess that's the rule. This is a Haitian beer called Prestige, and it says right on it, imported lager. Medallus d'or. Not sure what that means. Some kind of metal. Gold metal. Probably gold metal. Medallus. Door, gold metal, metal of gold. And you can see there's Hispaniola, which is Haiti and Dominican Republic. And then one of the interesting things about that island, Hispaniola, is the fact that it's two countries sharing a border that divides two different cultures and two different languages because in the Dominican Republic, they speak Spanish. And in Haiti, they speak Creole or French. Let's give it a shot, shall we? It's good. It's refreshing. I know the first thing that comes to mind when you're drinking like Mexican beer or beer from a very poor country. I mean, Haiti is just about as poor a country as it gets on this side of the hemisphere. Um, it's well. You know, I wouldn't trust that water over there. Why would I trust the beer? But, you know, when it gets fermented and all that good stuff, I guess it kind of cleans it up. But either way, it's good. Onward and upward. Certainly every bit as authentic as Little Havana, and perhaps even more so because to me this looks more like, you know, if I was walking in downtown Port-au-Prince or, you know, some avenue in Haiti, it's, uh, it's got a very authentic feel to it because it's not very commercialized. And guys, they do tours here of Little Haiti that you can sign up for and They'll bring you here and walk you around and show you a lot of the history that's here, probably that I'm omitting, but um, this right here is like the main square, uh, the marketplace that is like probably the first stop on, on those tours. Little Haiti's Mash Arisien, the Caribbean marketplace. I don't suppose it's open. It's not. Now look, they threw out the welcome mat for us. Onward and upward. Okay. Uh, pas ouvrir? Not, not open? No. How come? It's supposed to be fixing it. They're trying to fix something in there. The deal's on Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. Do you guys live here? Yeah, this area? area? Are you guys from Haiti originally? No. Uh, yeah. Oh, you guys are Americans? Yeah. Okay. 
but you live in this area among a lot of Haitians. What's that like? It's real nice. Yeah. Being in another culture with another culture and to learn the, the, the nationality. Right. And we come and really participate with them when they have their little festivals and stuff like that. I see. So I respect it. Absolutely. And um, how long have you lived in this area, sir? Oh, man, I've been there since 1985, man. 1985? So you've really seen this area change? Yeah. Okay. And were you here like when a lot of the Haitians started coming in? Yeah. 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 Did Most of America, then the Haitians started coming. I see. see. And then we just started getting together with them. And then we had a little fight fly up and down, you know. And when we got to know each other, we, we you know we just kind of settled in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Everybody made friends. Yeah. Right? So. There you go. Yeah. Um, but they seem like they're pretty good people and yeah. hardworking yeah. and family oriented. Yeah. Awesome. Have you tried any of the food? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. A restaurant down there. Good one, huh? Yeah, uh huh. What do you like? What's your favorite meal? Kalalu. Kalalu. What's in that? Cabbage, stew beef. It's, it's what they call it, Kalalu. Oh, okay. It's cabbage and stew beef. I think what I had today is called cabri. Cabri? Yeah, that's the goat, stewed goat. Oh, yeah. Have you okay. tried that one? Yeah, I tried that yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. He it's, likes that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had fried chicken, but they took it off the market there. Because uh, a lot of people, a lot of uh, Haitians go in there and they don't, they don't eat fried chicken. See, so what's your name, sir? Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. So Joseph, you've been here going on 40 years, man. Yeah. Over that time, you, you must be able to speak fluent French by now, or Creole. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit? A little bit. Say something to us. Say goodbye to us. What is that? Au revoir? I don't know how to do that. I, no. I, I ain't learned too much. Bonjour. Bonjour. passé. Net boulet. Well, you guys are the best. I really appreciate yeah. you uh, talking yeah. to me. and. Yeah. Uh, Au revoir, yeah. Au revoir, as they say. I heard of this place too. This place is supposed to have really good food as well. We'll catch this one next time. So you see a Miami minibus. They have other buses local share ride taxi minibuses that are known as tap taps and they're popular in Haiti and you know they'll you pay your little fare and they'll take you around and you get on and get off as needed but they're very colorful and often they have festive music playing like a giant rusty machete. Good thing I got my tetanus shot. But I'll tell you guys one thing. It's a Wednesday afternoon. I'm sure that it gets much busier here on the weekend and it's much more of a vibrant place, but I don't see a whole lot of business going on here. Even the empty truck containers have murals on them. I mean, guys, if this doesn't feel like Haiti, I don't know what does. So guys, let us continue our way on Anthony Bourdain's food trail. Next up, Chef Creole for some Haitian seafood.
side, she hopped on the Green Lizard. There's over 11 million people living on the island of Haiti. That makes it the third largest island in the entire Caribbean. So these stores are called Volcanicas. Okay, I want it. No? No, if you need to pay me the money, no, I'm Christian. I pay you, I pay no, you. No. I gotta help I'm you. I'm telling you, no. It's no, no problem. Okay, au revoir. No, au revoir, au revoir. Hopefully, she doesn't know voodoo. The life of a vlogger. Giant squid, or is it an octopus? This is a uh, pretty famous mural right back in here. That sign, and those words, Union Fête la Force. In French means unity makes strength. Making our way towards the last stop on the Anthony Bourdain food trail. And there it is, the promised land, Chef Creole. Bourdain have when he was here, do you remember? He had everything. This man ate fish, cock, shrimp, chicken, grill, oxtail, and lobster at the same time. Unbelievable. I don't oh, blame him. 
How about that grilled conch? How is that? Is that good? Yeah, beautiful. Okay, my friend. Listen, I think I'm going to go with that uh, grilled conch. You think that's a good choice? Uh, it's a good choice, but uh, anytime after 4 o'clock, I think uh, the guy who made the grilled conch will probably leave already. I'm, I'm going to see... Uh, oh, he's not here? If it's possible to make it for you right now. Okay. If not... Uh, I, I, could, I could steam it for you and fry it. How is it steamed? I don't know if that'll be good steamed though. Yeah, yes, it is. It's good? Yeah, it's good. Really okay, I'll do that. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's, it's a full meal. It comes with rice and beans and plantains. Okay, okay, I'll go with the, I'll go with the steamed con. We'll go with that. Okay. Something different. Okay. And uh, an ice cold beer. Ice cold beer. Which one? Something Haitian. What do you got? That's uh, Haitian. The prestige. Prestige. Okay, my friend. You go with that or you go to get to go? I'm going to eat it right there. Oh, That's of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy your beautiful establishment. Okay. Yeah. The best in the country. I know. It's like I said, Bourdain, you could say what you want about him, but that guy knew food, man. I'm telling you. He, he looked like, he was like, what, seven feet okay. tall? He was tall guy. He's a really tall guy. You were, you were hanging out with yes, him, Yes, of course, yeah. Uh, he's a very friendly guy. You know, like I said, he's, he's talking to you while eating. Mm. Oh, this shit is good. <laughs> what is this, chef? He even goes all over the place. Yeah, he's walking around looking yeah, at everything. Well, yep, yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's him. Beautiful. Yep. Good guy, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll take number will be 029. Okay. Okay. Certainly feels islandy back under here. Oh, I caught cheese. Oh, yeah, baby. You like that? Beautiful. Uh, actually, this is your little fridge. I love it. I love it. That's smart. I might drink that too. It looks good right now. <laughs> the water. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York, originally. Okay. So, how about you? I'm from Haiti. You're from Haiti. I'm, 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 a, I'm a real Haitian. You're a real Haitian. You, know, you got the fake Haitian. Yeah, you know, so I, did, I didn't know there was a difference between the oh. real and fake Haitian. Haitian American did a fake one. If so, if Haitian American, that means they were born here. What's they the born. difference? You get too Americanized. I got gotcha. you. They got too much American in them. They get they get a little spoiled, huh? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So you, when did you come to America from Haiti? 1976. 76. And how did you get here? Uh, I'm, uh, by the boat. You came over on a boat. Came over on a boat. What was that like coming over here on a boat? Fun. It was fun. It was fun. Really. No, you, you need to remember, I'm from the island. I mean, well, you hear all hellish stories, though, about exactly. these boat rides. I'm, 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 from, I'm from the island. I mean, I was born in water. So you're used to it. Exactly. You've been out on fishing boats, exactly. skiffs, all, all kinds life. of water. All my life, that's what I've been you've doing. Seen, you've been through storms, exactly. hurricanes. Exactly. So it's nothing for you. And when I went back to Haiti, could you imagine? I, I catch a little bit to went back to Haiti. Oh, really? Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I, I didn't do it on a plane. No. I, I don't feel You're probably safer in the boat than you are in the plane. That's, that's the only thing I know. Yeah. yeah. Since I was born. Wow. I like it. So tell me a little bit about the language you speak. It's Creole. Is that it's like a mixture of, it's like a Caribbean French? How would you describe it's, it? It's, it's a, actually, it's a broken French. Let's say, for example, the, the French people will tell you bonjour. Right. B-O-N-J-O-U-R. Right. But we say bonjour. Bonjour. So you drop the R. Uh, bonjour. I gotcha. It's like in New York, instead of saying forget about it, we say forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my hey, friend. Go get your food. Huh? I appreciate it. Sorry, I forgot to say cheers. Onward and upward. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, the prestige Haitian blogger. And I will tell you what. There's a huge difference between drinking a beer that's cold and drinking a beer that is ice cold. It's like two different drinks. This one's ice cold. And I'm really appreciating the flavor of this good Asian beer right now. A little strong, but good. I forgot to say that too. guys what do you think of little Haiti it's funny because before I came out here um, I did a little bit of reading up on it and a lot of what I read said 
Oh, stay away. You'll be robbed. You'll regret it. But all I can tell you is my experience. And uh, people have been friendly and forthcoming and um, warm and inviting. So, you know, sometimes you just got to go investigate for yourself. This episode of Barefoot Blogger is uh, dedicated to the Haitian people and their good spirit for all that they've endured throughout the centuries. And also to a man that I never knew but wish I did, felt like I knew him, Anthony Bourdain, that uh, culinary legend. I mean, you know, based on what I know of him from having seen so many of his uh, television episodes, you know, if you ask me what I, what I, what I noticed more than anything else about him, aside from his love of food and people, I would say that, you know, what got him famous and well known wasn't so much his food, but his writing. You know, he wrote a book called Kitchen Confidential that essentially put him on the map. The guy started off as a dishwasher, um, then became a, a, a line cook and worked for a restaurant in New York called Les Al, and wrote a book about his experiences called Kitchen Confidential. And, you know, not just the writing from that book, but the writing that comes through on every single episode of every show he's ever done is just top notch in some of the best writing I've ever seen. Elections are coming, a cause for both hope and dread around here, a source of passionate discourse, and also a process that's traditionally f***ed up beyond the most lurid imaginings. Judging from the past, if anything is for sure in Haitian politics, it's that the people will ultimately be disappointed in the cruelest possible way. Is that the pickles? That's the pickles, the best in the country, it's I told you. Wow. Tartar sauce and then uh... I bet it's very healthy. So this is like a cabbage that has been uh, pickled. It's, it's exactly, it's a mixture of different ingredients that make it. Wow. And what do we got here? Uh, here we have the sweet plantains, mm -hmm. the salad, the tomatoes, and here you go, here's your soup. You go like that. That's a bad boy. Oh my God, that is beautiful. It looks fantastic. How do they cook that? That's it's boiled. Oh, boiled. It's boiled. Okay. Thank you, buddy. Enjoy. Appreciate it. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. There you go. All right. For once, I get a break from Spanish. Guys, look at this meal. This, uh, this cost me 14 bucks plus the beer. And uh, there's a lot of food here. So I wanted to try steamed conch. Okay. This is different. Usually when you get conch they put it in hush puppies so they add breading to it and they fry it but this is going to be a lot healthier guys you ready here goes nothing oh my god mm. oh it's fantastic it's got a thick almost leathery type consistency um, it's not really chewy though, which is what I was afraid of. Um, it's more like spongy. Mm. And the flavor. I like spicy food, but I like very lightly spicy food. I like the spice to be in the flavor, to come out and bring out the flavors of the meat. And that's exactly what this does without overcoming my mouth and my tongue with, you know, fire and lava. Oh. oh, superb. Fantastic, brother. This is really good. So I don't know exactly what's in the sauce, guys, but I, you know, I'm sure this is Creole type flavoring. You know, I've been to uh, I've been to New Orleans many times, and the flavors that are in here harken back to my trips to New Orleans. Mmm. Oh. 
you know that juice is going over that price. So here we go. And that's the way I usually like my plantains. Soft on the inside with a caramelized sort of crunch on the outside. And then you go for the rice right after that. Tell you what, Bourdain, if he ate there, you know you should. All right, I want to try this pickles. It's a very good probiotic. Honestly, I mean, it's cabbage, sort of like a minced cabbage. Looks like there's some carrot in there, and, um, and, and it's pickled. Oh, that definitely threw, threw me for a surprise. First of all, this is really spicy. Really spicy. I'm on fuego. Uh, but it's delicious. Um, I would say it's more vinegary, but it's uh, it's fantastic. It would make a really good dressing for company something else. It's a little too spicy for me right now, though. Back to the cock. Well guys, that about does it from here. I hope you enjoyed this big tour of Little Haiti. And hopefully this episode of Barefoot Vlogger would have made Anthony Bourdain proud. Till next time. From Chef Creole in Little Haiti. This is the Barefoot Vlogger saying stay well. Stay tuned.